Rising gas prices have been blamed for the mothballing of one of Queensland's newest power plants. Stanwell Corporation is closing its gas, gas generator at Swan Bank near Ipswich and restarting coal-fired units at Tarong in the South Burnett. The decision will cost jobs and comes despite major government investment in the plant. Eric Torchek reports. It's only 12 years old, but Swan Bank's gas power plant is already being put aside. 33 jobs gone. Uh, the potential for this uh, power station that burns the greenest energy in our state to be closed. So it's ridiculous. The union says 33 of the plant's 40 jobs will go. The company says it's 25 and there will be no forced redundancies. We will make sure that there is a, there is a voluntary redundancy program and where we can uh, relocate people and provide them redeployment opportunities across the organisation, we will do that. It's devastating for the community and it's devastating for 33 families and um, it's a shame that profits come before um, people. The state and federal governments had invested billions in a recycled water scheme for Swanbank's ageing coal plant, but it eventually closed in favour of the gas generator. Now the construction of gas lines to Gladstone has made it easier to export the gas rather than burn it for electricity. When Stanwell closed its Ipswich coal power plant in 2012, it said its cleaner gas operation here would be viable for decades. But in less than two years, the increasing price of gas has made it more lucrative for Stanwell to sell it directly to export and restart a coal power plant elsewhere. It makes sense for us to sell our gas into a market where there's increasing prices um, and we can generate more value uh, by doing that rather than generating electricity. The company says restarting units at Tarong in the South Burnett could lead to more jobs, but at its nearby coal mine, not the plant itself. Hopefully we will see a number of jobs, additional jobs in that area. The plant will stop producing power in October. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News, Swanbank.